Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, what's going on? What you doing? I'm uh, promoting my legend show. What's going on? What division you have? You have open bodybuilding? What do you mean? You should be doing more like bikini or something. Bro, bro it's your show. I'm gonna come in. The show is like bro, 14 weeks I... out. Look, it's, it's about 12, 14 weeks out. You look six months out. Can you do something? I want, I want to win one trophy. Okay. Can you do something? You will be judged accordingly. Start dieting like six months back. Maybe do it next year. And you might be able to compete. Bro, it's your show. Do something, bro. I know it's my show. Bro, I have an idea. I want to make sure I win. You know? Just, just make sure I win. Win what? I want a one trophy in my home. I want to bring a one MPC trophy. Sure, your way. Thank you, bro. Hey, my money! My money! Two and a half, two, actually two and a half hours now. Vic hasn't come out of the building. He's stuck in there, trying to get him out. He just won't come out. Not tonight. <laughs> he doesn't come out. He's been there for two and a half hours already. Yeah, it's money. Got to go get Vic. Who's gonna be? How do you do it? <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to Generation Iron Podcast. Your host, me, Victor Martinez, Esam Farahi, Black Yudin, and Edwin Mejia. Welcome back. Now, guys, you guys have been traveling, man. Want to hear about it? Want to hear the trips? And where did you visit? Just got back from Amsterdam. Oh. One of your favorite places, yeah? <laughs> is it or is it not? Dangerous place. <laughs> It's a beautiful, so, uh, it's actually a very beautiful city. Beautiful city, what beautiful dangerous. City. Listen, beautiful city, great architect, fantastic museums, some uh, good strained marijuana. I don't know why when I hear uh, Netherlands, automatically the red color comes to my brain. Red color? Yeah. Oh, right. like a red light district. <laughs> 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 Just say it, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So... <laughs> We, we enjoyed it. I mean, I we thought enjoyed it, yeah. it was We're a great nice. city. I mean, we went all over. We went to Belgium as well. Nice. Uh, Belgium is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's a couple of hours, right? A couple it. hours away. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, you know, Amsterdam is one of those cities you see everybody on a bike. Everybody's super healthy. But then you see everybody like on a, you know, smoking a cigarette. It's like, so how healthy are but, you really? But you know, the, <laughs> the, I know, right? But the red light district, right? We, we, we actually filmed there. And we passed by the, those windows. I've heard a lot about it before. But I was surprised. Actually, a lot of those women look really good. I thought they were kind of like... Vlad. Maybe I, maybe I was naive. I thought they were going to look f not good. Vlad, listen, Vlad. <laughs> Victor got stuck in a few of those. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, man. Hookers work out too, man. All right? You know? Bodybuilding <laughs> body and fitness does not discriminate, okay? I guess, yeah. But they look, it, they look like legit, like nice. No, listen, you man. Know? They have to up their game. You know, they have to up their game. They have to have, you know, good shape. That is, you know, that's what they do. They sell their bodies and, uh, yeah. you know, you got to have the upgrades. We will, yeah. Well, to add, to add to what Vlad was saying, I mean, it looked like we were expecting to see a freak show. It wasn't a freak show at all. They were like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Prostitutes don't look like freak shows anymore. They look like your girls <laughs> next door or the girl in the bench next door. <laughs> what's the, you've been to Amsterdam, obviously, right? What's what was your craziest experience? Um, Not with the hooker, well, I'm saying in general. Just uh, well, I actually had a. Uh, it was a two-hour layover. Mm -hmm. 
back in 2008. Never been there. It was a while ago, huh? It was a two-hour layover. They, they obviously so oversold the seats on the plane. So uh, they asked for volunteers. I volunteered, you know, give my flight. Yeah, why not? And uh, decided to stay for two days. In that time, there was, you know, phone and social media wasn't as, yeah. you know, big. Right. But So you had to go to like an internet cafe, oh. which I, I went straight through. I took the subway there, got to uh, the center, right in the center where everybody's riding these tank. I swear, these are like, I, I don't know, they're like German made Tanks. bicycles man if one of these bikes hit you man they're gonna definitely break one of your legs uh -huh. but uh went to the uh, internet cafe i booked a really nice hotel i believe uh, it was the moving peak very nice man and uh went straight to town once i checked in and i saw these two kids these two black kids hanging out in the corner and uh, I know they were pushing something, you know, they just don't hang out there for the hell of it, you know. And uh, I just asked them if, you know, they have free time and if they could show me around. Like tour guides. Yeah, like tour guides. I'm like, what? What do you mean show you around? I said, yeah, well, you guys are hustlers, right? They're like, yeah, you guys are doing good. They said no. And I said, well, l let me hook you up. I pay for your lunch. Show me around. Take me to some smoke shops and... Uh, you know, if you try anything funny, I would snap your little necks, and they agreed. So that, that was so basically. You got the official tour. Got the official tours. Uh, I told them I liked, you know, museums, went to a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they, they did take me to the red light, you know. They weren't in that much a great shape, as you just mentioned now, though. I have oh, to say. Oh, no, 2023. I mean, it, it, yeah. Yeah, good. yeah. 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 It's, it's, I mean, you go now, it's like. I mean, it's a whole different experience. Yeah, it's completely well, they different. They know, though. they know, they know. They have social media too, you know. So they, they know what's compete, going right? on. Yeah. They, they watch OnlyFans. I'm sure they have that and OnlyFans. So, you know, they stay busy, man. You know. So, I wish they could have like a mileage marker. <laughs> she could kind of choose which one you want to go into. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little, a little meter on the side of the window. Dude, uh, <laughs> you're going to do a spring chicken or a roasted turkey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not a bad idea. So what I, are you guys doing in the Netherlands? Filming new we're projects. We're visiting the red light district. We just told you. So just, no, no. <laughs> yeah. There's a filming and new project. I think no, you no, just yeah, stopped yeah. there. No, yeah. just, come on, guys. come on, man. No, no. We were shooting a we were shooting a really cool film. We don't want to announce it yet, but it's oh. it will be announced soon. Yeah, it's, okay, yeah. new we, project. We were out there shooting a, a really cool project. We went through all the canals. The canals were amazing. In fact, yeah. some of the people say the canals there are better than ones in Venice, which is I don't know. That's debatable. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the well, they're canals, not sinking yeah. yet. They're not sinking as much. Uh, yeah. Right. Man. So the, cana is. the canals were really cool, and then. We were able to try some air, uh, herring as well, which was really good. I thought I found it pretty interesting. And then um, we yeah. checked out some some gyms out there. You know, we're interested in potentially expanding over there. Amazing gyms, some really yes. cool gyms and locations. Yeah. But Dutch people over there are pretty cool, man. Yeah, they're no, really they into, are. really hip, really into music, really into bodybuilding and fitness. I mean, it's pretty pretty up and coming area too for fitness, and people love it. You know. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I, I wish I had more to say after the trip, but when the guys took me out, there was a uh, a mushroom store, and uh, that's the last I remember. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've seen those mushroom stores. I've seen, I've seen mushroom stores. Last yeah. thing I remember, yeah. and uh, I, I don't even remember sleeping in the Moving Peak Hotel. It was like two days <sighs> later. I'm like... <laughs> Straight to the plane. You're lucky you didn't wake up in one of those canals. No, no, yeah. I wasn't going to do that, you know. I think <laughs> yeah, most people there were actually pretty much uh, not going to confront me. I probably must have <laughs> looked all crazy. <laughs> think about it. 98, all uh, 2008, you know. I just did the Arnold Classic um, and the Olympia. So I'm looking all bloated and swollen. So I'm like, uh, you know. Not somebody you want to really want to have a conversation with. Well, you should have called Barry DeMay. But that's, that's I, I would have. You saw Barry DeMay, actually. So shout out to Barry. He, I would have. Saying, we went Trust to me, gym. I would have. But I don't think he was living there at the time, but oh, I definitely would have. He lives in Rotterdam, essentially. So yes. we traveled to see him. We filmed with him in Rotterdam. It's like about an hour away yeah. from Amsterdam. I would have gone. He's still in good shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A, yeah. Barry, Barry is a yes. legend. I mean, we, we love Barry. Barry is yeah. one of the most respected guys in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, age for age, one of the most things shaped knowledgeable. past Olympia competitors. So, yes. shout out to Barry and yeah. his team Big and everybody over there for bringing us in as well. 
Yeah. He's a great guy, man. We actually chilled with him for like a you know half a day, and he he has a gym over there, like yes. a private gym. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He has a beautiful private yeah. gym, actually. A beautiful private gym. Yeah. He's a nice yeah. guy, man. No, Barry is is <clears throat> one of these uh, true testament of bodybuilding. Is a lifestyle, and he's still living it hardcore. I think his daughter competes or he's about to compete. I don't know, but uh, he he's he's a great guy and one of my favorite in the Olympias back in the nineties. Yeah, for sure. So we got to get into these topics, right? But before we do, um, actually, there's one comment that stood out to me. I want to bring it up to you, actually. Uh, some guy named David B. So we talk about steroids a lot on this, right? <laughs> Even though we don't want to. You know what? I run but, into people you know. in the gym and they say, you know what? I love that you show the pros and the cons of it. Yeah, We have to teach it. We, we have, have to. to. And, and people find this, you know, oh, why you're promoting it. We are not promoting it. Yeah, we're not promoting it. Like, we're giving you the pros, the cons. We're playing devil's advocate. Whether exactly. you like to hear it or not, you know what? Just flip, change. Change the channel. Else. So David B is asking, actually, so a question for you. So after the previous episode, we talked about the steroids. So he's saying, so how would you use steroids safely, question mark? Is it bad choice to use steroids even if you don't compete? So I guess the first question is, how do we use it safely? And what's, what's really the, the answer here? You can't, so, right? You, you can use steroids safely again. Now, if you're not competing, and again, if you're a person of a certain age, if you're over a certain age, you have blood work, and your testosterone levels are that of a newborn baby, then obviously, you know, again, you, that changes your mood. It changes, you know, the way you feel, your energy levels. So if they're dirt low, you have blood work, doctors are actually approved to write a script for you and monitor you safely. Now, if you're competing, I think you should follow same rule of thumb, you know, check your levels. Um, obviously, if you just started training yesterday, what is the point of using steroids today? You need to maximize with what you can do on your own natural ability, create a base, and then dabble in it later. There's a lot of factors to uh, save steroids, you know, uh, uh, organs, check your organs, your liver enzymes are high without using. Obviously, that's not a good idea. You know? People th people thinking that a steroid is a magic pill, a magic injection. When you're using a steroids, still you have to suffer, you have to be working, you have to be keeping an, on your diet very, very... Uh, well, that's true, but I met a guy in Netherlands, actually, he got on steroids, and he's, he said the, right away, the first week, he felt like a superman. The way yes. he was lifting, the weight he was lifting, the energy levels. It does happen in a mm -hmm. lot of guys, yeah. again, uh, genetically gifted guys. I, I know a guy who had won many shows and he only literally used one steroid ester, just one. And he was a Superman. And he was winning every show, you know? And most people were assuming, <clears> oh, <throat> he took a ton of this, he must <clears throat> be on this and speculating. And, and I said, listen, man, he is actually not, you know? And how do you know? Said, well, genetics, so important, right? <laughs> Genetics, genetics, genetics is number is so one. And so. second, if, again, if you don't want to compete, and you're under 40, don't touch it. Guys, don't touch the steroids under 40. And if you don't want to compete, put the it's steroids not worth down. It. Yes, it's not worth it. Seriously, it's not worth it. End of the day, you're using it, and then you, you saw you're not, you're not that person go on stage or do anything. It just get uh, you just get destroyed in, in liver, kidney, inside your body. When you oh, turn man. 50, 55, you have to following doctor to doctor and say, oh, oh, I use that, I use this, that's why. Of course, and always fall back, uh, oh, I'm going to use steroids because I feel insecure about my body, and if I use steroids, I will feel more secure. Reality, if you're insecure, you're still going to be insecure. This is not a fixer-upper. This is steroid does not fix the psychological part. Mm -hmm. Physiological, Maybe, but then at the end of the day, what if you get one of those unwanted side effects like gyno or hair loss? Mm -hmm. or That's actually the topic of today's show, gyno. Exactly. You know, it, it, could, it could go south. It could go south for yeah. you, and then you just created yourself an entirely new problem. So be very, very careful and uh, approach it with care. Just don't be nonchalant about it. Like, it's just... Uh, 
you know, having a drink at a bar and picking up the first available cheap <laughs> hooker, you know. Be patient. Yeah, yeah, be we'll patient. bring it back to the hooker somehow. Be, be patient. Um, There's always there. a hooker somewhere. There's always a hooker. <laughs> Hanging always in a bar. <laughs> Hanging in a bar and be patient. Vic, Vic, so, so what's, what's gyno exactly? Let's talk about gyno. Yeah, what, like, what is, you know, a lot of people are asking about as yeah. well about gyno and the effects of gynos. Who, you know, what are the causes? Right. Who's, who's, you know, who's predisposed to gyno? Yeah. Obviously, um, we know from Generation Iron yes. that gyno, there's a variety of causes to gyno. Yes. Not only, you know, bodybuilders, but there's infants and other individuals that, you know, are predisposed to it for a variety of reasons. Could be alcohol, could be drug use, could yes. be... Damn, you can, get, you can get a gyno from alcohol? Yes. Y yes. Alcohol can alcohol, spike Alcohol, I think, it, is like know? one of the top two, three leading reasons mm -hmm. for gyno as well. Yes. Um, for a variety of reasons. So the question is, you know, what, what in your experience, right? What do you suggest, or what would you tell a person that is concerned about gyno? Number one. Again, gyno. I, I seen actually. You know, it does happen with steroids. It does happen with steroid use. Unfortunately, there's a few cases every once in a while where they'll just develop the gyno because they just have too much female uh, hormone, hormones. Estrogen. What, what's the gyno? It's, it's, it's when you yeah, develop a breast. When you, when you get aromatized. When Around you take the a, a, Yeah, you take a certain steroid and it aromatizes, turns into a, the unwanted hmm. test. Right. Uh, is it fat or is it like a, some kind of a it, It's a gland that starts forming around it. Now, you get hints before it starts form, uh, forming around it. First is the itch. If you ever just catch yourself scratching yeah. your nipple, that's first warning. Yeah. Scratching wow. nipples. Itching yeah. nipples. Itching. itching nipples. Start itching yes. and then it um, goes to Sensitive. Pain. Sensitive. Sensitive. Second warning. And the, gl the gland is growing, yeah? yeah. Yes, that's when it's already forming. And now, when you touch the bottom of your nipple, if you feel your gland starts getting harder, it, it starts forming a mass. Mm -hmm. It starts forming. And again, it doesn't harden up until you continue taking it. So you have a chance to really reverse it by just completely stopping it. You Before know, it gets hard. Stopping the what steroid. does it mean, stopping it? What, how do stop, you stop it? Stop taking whatever it is you're taking that's getting this side effect. And then it goes away? It, it, eventually, it will start breaking down. You know, that you could take Novadex. And you, you have take to take a few drugs to fix it. Yeah, yeah, Novadex. yeah. That, that will reverse the effects if it's not formed yet. Mm -hmm. But once it's formed and that thing is hard as a rock, dude, you're going to have torpedo boobs. You might need a wonder bra, <laughs> you know, you might need a wonder bra and who That's knows? That's a new one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are, some, are some people genetically prone to getting them and some not from steroids? Yeah, yes. some, some guys will not aromatize it. They're actually very fortunate. They could take uh, tons and they'll never get it. They never form the gland. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, um, there's guys that just do form it in the... A single shot. Some guys, it, just, yeah. it could just happen. One shot of steroids. Yeah, a single good. shot. Some guys, it could happen on the second, third, fourth, or fifth cycle. It doesn't matter. But just be aware and be cautious of the side effects, you know. I mean, it's, it's like the hair loss, you know. Some guys could take Winstrol their entire life, and they still have a full, you know, <laughs> head, of hair. head of hair. And uh, But some guys would take that one shot, and that's it, you know. They're going to have a LeBron James, you know. <laughs> Freaking headline, you know? but but um, gyno is different from what, what you consider to be a man boobs, right? From like just being over yes. overweight. overweight, it's different. Yeah. Two different. But you things, could categorize right? gyno as man boobs too, right? You can, yeah, you know, uh, uh, although AKA bitched it. Depends how much is big. Said that well, in the bodybuilding, yeah, in the bodybuilding industry, it's it's called out because there's people that are on steroids, right, or competing. And yes. essentially, they're competing, but then they can notice the gyno on the screen. And that's not on, good for the, the judging shows, panel. Right? Judges it's hate so seeing yeah. that because they know, like, you went too far ahead. You didn't catch yourself. And now you are here displaying great physique, legs, heart, and shape, balance, but gyno. So what, that actually works against you on the stage? It, it could. It has. Depends who you are. It could be overlooked slightly. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're yeah, a bodybuilder. You could be overlooked. You develop so gyno, it, it, right? I, I see the overlook. Let's say you get a gyno as a bodybuilder. Yeah. Obviously, stopping steroid is not an option because you have to compete. So what's what are the other treatments? You you can't stop. There's still the the best way to combat that is just to stop. Just be weary about it. But the problem is, 
the psychological part where a bodybuilder or somebody who's already in the process of gaining the muscle, they have the physique, they know they're getting the gyno, but yet they still don't want to stop. Right. And right. then they, you know, have to, they wait until dealing with the repercussions later on down the road. Can't you get a surgery to get out of, to get the gland yeah, out? Yeah, you can get a surgery, yeah, yeah. of course. Isn't, a simple, isn't it a quick, simple fix? That's the 90, 95, I, I say 92% of all professional athletes. They get the gyno surgery. They, they get the gyno surgery. So once you take yeah. the gland out, it, you you fine. You have to worry about it ever again. No, they, no they take it, it out. can still happen again, again. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, really? It happened? It, I've seen it happen. Wow. I they gyno. say it won't happen, but remember, unless you take out all of the gland, yeah, deep, all of it. Yes. But, you know, you still get a little chop shop doctors that just are quick they'll, they'll do the gyno for four thousand and remember guys cheap is not always better mm -hmm. you know cheap is not always better so they do it quick they do a rush job a lot of times they tend to actually screw up the chest muscle yes right right yes. yeah they take because off the they muscle. hit certain nerves yeah. right and now you don't have the gyno but now you have a chest that's not round at all mm -hmm. which is why you always need professional coaches and help right? always because the thing yes. is like if someone who's competing or is a you know a young amateur competitor and all of a sudden they're, they're taking substance right or yes. taking some sort of peds and then you're taking and taking and taking and you think you're boosting your testosterone in reality your body is naturally trying to block it with yes. estrogen and then then that kind of defeats the whole purpose totally so what do you do then right you have to consult a, uh, a professional go to a professional doctor. go to the doctor obviously don't go to your general doctor because first he's gonna give you a tongue lashing over why you use steroids to begin with oh, yeah. right. you know um my friend's a surgeon um i always ask him for advice when i have friends that need the surgery if you do it anywhere in New York City, you're gonna run about seven, eight grand. For gyno surgery. Yeah. Gyno surgery. You go down to Florida, you know. Or you go uh, to Columbia or DR. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you go to Florida, <laughs> you know, Johnny from the, uh, you know, from the bike shop or the mechanic, <laughs> he, does this, he does it on the side in the back, oh, you know, for about three grand. <laughs> behind, be, behind the TRT clinics. <laughs> but I wanna, listen, I know, that, I know that in the comments people are gonna say, what do you mean stop? Like when you say the surgery, I feel like it's an actual thing to do, but how do you just stop? Because if you're a competitor, you have to take steroids, right? I mean, that's that, that's that catch 22. You know, I believe you can still stop. Now, you're going to come back. Once you start getting the warning, just stop. Mm -hmm. It'll come back, though. If, if you no, know. stop, continue training, and switch the ester. A lot of times it's what you're using. Mm. You know, it could be a certain test. Oh, it maybe be, change, up the, change up the actual. Yeah, 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 yeah. just pull back. You obviously have to stop what is making this happen. So mm -hmm. the rule of thumb is stop everything. Start adding on again, one by one. And one, one, of, one, one of the one of the drugs they use in is estrogen blocker. Uh, yeah, those, are, those during, are big now. I mean, I've seen, during, I've seen, uh, yeah, it, it, I have a question for yeah. you. It's better to using estrogen bl blocker during steroids using or after a uh, period. I say after a while. You, so if you're gonna do a, a cycle, you're gonna get ready for a show. You do about twelve weeks out. I'll recommend doing the estrogen blockers about five to six weeks into it, unless you're feeling the estrogen, you know. Five weeks out. You know, yeah, five weeks into using it already. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, I mean, there was a few articles that, you know, in muscular development, that say that if you are using Novadex or any strong estrogen blocker, that can hinder the effect of steroids. So that's why. Yes. Definitely. A lot of people tend to go is, into Proviron. Is Novadex over the counter? No. It's not over the counter unless it's me. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, it, Vic, you know, there's a lot of supplement companies out there claiming to have Novadex over the counter. I've seen it. Oh, yeah. I've seen it too, actually. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some pharmacies, it's not a controlled substance. So a pharmacist, again, if you're like the neighborhood person and they know you, they'll give it to you. Again, it's not a controlled drug. It's not right. an abuse drug. Yeah. They'll give it to but you. But I've seen supplement companies sell it. Like, I guess it's not a real Novadex, but they call it Novadex, right? Oh, yeah, the, those are the... Uh, that's yeah, the pills. No, that's a supplement. That's it a mimics, so it's not the real thing. No, no it mimics it. It's kind of like the GH, you know, spray and the GH pill. Right, right. It has right. booster, right? Yeah, yeah. It has like well, 0.2% I mean, of it. Yeah. <laughs> to, to most gurus and, you know, coaches out there, it's obviously self-explanatory. Yes. And like, yeah, no, duh. But like most people that are just getting into bodybuilding might think that that is over the counter, right? 
They might think see? again, but uh, you'll most likely get better real Novadex from some Indian company or anywhere. I mean, probably even Amazon these days, you know, you never know. But uh, yeah, use the real thing, avoid the gyno, stop what you're taking. You know, don't take the chance because uh, summertime's coming and in some states it's summer year round, man. I mean, somebody sees you with those torpedo boos, you know, they want to get a suck at it. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when, you, when you prefer to use in uh, Proviron? Proviron, definitely off the bat. It's a mild, it's good. It, it actually keeps you tighter, um, works good for anti estrogen, just about enough without affecting the uh, strength of. You know, so you got to keep blo you got to block the estrogen to maintain. Yes, the aroma aromatizing again, aromatizing. Uh, and, and I should have gotten that steroid. It turns into it, it's just it converts, and that's your body's chem you know your body's mm -hmm. chemistry that it just doesn't process the right way, and it just converts. It, it could be that again. Mm -hmm. It could not happen the first time, second time, or even the third. Some people it could happen the first. What about women? The Do they get something like a gyno too, or it doesn't happen with the women? Women? No, they Homer, just no. get the uh, gigantor clitorius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gyno know, basically. Mini penis. Gyno know, basically happening. Uh, Captain Hook. Up. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That happening when you're a <laughs> get, <laughs> get rid of it. I don't know. Use it as a speed bag and shit. I don't know. I think we should, we should talk about that. What the yes. The big club. Yes. Talk about that. Cap Captain what? What do you say? Captain, Captain Hook. Hook. <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> Captain Hook is the next, next episode. But, the, it, but it's happening when your estrogen is up, which is the woman hormones. Right. right. That's up. when you grow, yeah. So basically for a woman, it's not affected. It's the testosterone. Yes. It's woman needs more testosterone. You know, mm. estrogen for woman is roof. Testosterone mm. is low. They have both hormones, but the level is different. Estrogen is hot roof, testosterone is low. That's why they take a proviron or estrogen yeah, blocker. Yeah. But women to, are getting a little bit better now choosing what steroid they use. Before, they, they didn't mind using the DECA and the test. Hmm. But they knew once they got the whiskers, the deep voice, and the, the hair loss, the thinning hair, um, women will always get more side effects than men. But I think they, uh, the coaches um right now a little bit more educated the ones that do care about the women that are training they know to give them the mild steroids because a woman natural can actually build good muscle yes women can actually yes. get in better shape than most men mm -hmm. and i don't know why but i proved it i've done it and it's it's uh yeah. it's good so a woman needs just just the tad so but now yeah. you know and, and remember i think when the woman used the most was when bodybuilding was you know, at its peak with the women mass monsters. Yeah. Mm. I have a question, well, Victor. 90s. Which steroid is, has more cause effect for happening? Uh, um, uh, gyno? Gyno. Gyno, it, it could be a fast acting. Uh, Mastron, Tremblon, Testosterone. Um, Tremblon, Winstrol. not so much. Um, for some people, it has been Winstrol. For some other people, it's a, a, a Sipony. Um, one of the blends in Sassanon, you know how they have four different blends. One of those simple blends in there, or even uh, Propionate. D-Ball, the Honorable. D-Ball, it could, but I haven't heard of anyone who only used D-Ball and this happened again, but at, could it have happened? Yes. yes. Again, it depends on the person. Everything's a case by case basis. Yeah. I've heard some top well, bodybuilders in the game got that surgery. I'm not going to yeah. say names, but I've heard like, you know, top guys got yes, the, yes. 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 So many. But I have it. But it's, it's distracting. Yeah. But it's, it's, they look good after that, you know? So. Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's just annoying. Right. Annoying to have to deal yeah. with. Annoying to take the time off. Recovery is quick. Is is fairly quick. It's not that bad, mm -hmm. you know. So you have only about maybe two weeks of not working out chest. You know, I think they put a mesh on you and, and some entire thing where you don't want to move around, destroy the mm -hmm. stitching or anything. But um, reality, in less than two months, you're right back in the gym. So it's back not that it. crazy. Again, because it's Could just be the tissue. It's not the actual muscle. It's not like you're repaying a. a a tendon, just a, gland. a tear. It's a gland. Yeah, right. just a gland. Got it. That's got it. it, man. All right, so what else are we talking about today? 
Well, the other thing we were mentioning is that we get a lot of attention regarding some posts that we got up for Andrew Tate on uh, Andrew Tate coming out Andrew of prison. Andrew Tate is out of, out of prison. We saw He's that. out. Yeah. He's pretty, oh, pretty, man. came out pretty bulky. He looked like he was training. Come on, man. He's Romania, man. He was getting that <laughs> shit straight <laughs> delivered in there, man. So he, he was uh, coming out looking pretty buffed. Put up a picture. Um, right. I'm, I'm sure pretty, it's been it's on the circles. People have seen it online. What we like, what we find fascinating is that, you know, everybody asks about what, what kind of workouts do you people do in prison, right? It's like, and I'm, uh, I said, well, who better you, to you ask? You mentioned you to, didn't, to, yeah. You mentioned you Vic. didn't. No, no. It, it's weird because let's say you don't work out outside. And let's say you're even a crackhead outside. <laughs> That's what he looks like now. Hey, I mean, he looks all right. He, he looks like a retired Mel Gibson there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he still looks good. Yeah, so it, it's if you're a crackhead outside, you don't work out outside, you go to prison, you're always going to look better because you're working out, period. You weren't working out outside. Sure. So crackheads always look good. Guys that don't work out always look good. Andrew Tate was boxing, but he wasn't really training that hard before he went in. Right? He was like more ripped. No, yeah, he was more ripped. You know, he's maintaining, you know, doing his, his fest, all these girls and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> so he was staying shredded, you know, it works. But now you're locked up, you're training, you're going to see the sleep difference. Train. Now, if yeah. you're in shape, like, Anybody who's an avid, you know, you know, goes to the gym constantly every day, works out, eats six meals a day, five meals a day, or even four, you get locked up. Guess what? No, no, you ain't going to come out buff. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. How did he gain the weight? Because I'm sure they're not feeding him in the Romanian prison like five meals a day, right? No, but I think Romanian prison is like Dominican Republic prison. If you have money outside, you can oh. get good things inside. Like on the book, <laughs> get the money on the book. Yeah, yeah. There's no strict... Only happens to those that have nothing to begin with. You know, there's, there's levels. The there's levels yeah. to everything. If you're in prison, you can get a phone. You can get food. So that's you, probably yeah. what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, too. United States is like that too. United States too, man. It, yeah. It's it depends. You said, you said when you got locked up in the 2011, you were getting all the food you wanted the first yeah, yeah. And allegedly without getting anybody you know you said it on the record before me. <laughs> bro you said and it i said allegedly <laughs> okay, allegedly you ate whatever you wanted the first uh, i allegedly had some pizza pie some ambient you, you know some provirons so i won't get no uh, you know <laughs> withdrawals from my uh arnold classic you know win at the uh in spain but um people do get to eat there is food but we didn't have a gym. Mm, Maybe know? he did. You no, know, when you're in immigration, they don't want you to work out. Right, right, right. They don't want to drive you crazy. They want you to deport yourself. So, mm -hmm, mm. and then uh, now in the state prison, not much weights, but in the federal prison, yes, they do have some weights. You can have some, you know, gym time and all that. And again, you're only going to build, a, a, you know, a potato tuna body when you're locked up. Meaning you are going to be big, you're going to be bulky, but you ain't going to have no crazy muscle bellies. You ain't going to be shredded because right. most of it is just carbs, you know, minimal protein mm -hmm. and a lot of sugars in there. So it looks like Andrew Tate had access, some kind of access to the gym yeah. and he got the food that he wanted. It looks like it, right? Yeah, that's it, man. So his, his case is done or? or I think what? he's in house arrest now, but out of prison. Oh. I think. Right, but, Connor? Have you heard about that? Yeah. yeah. House arrest in House. Romania. I want to see what that looks like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad. But again, it, it's, uh, I don't know what's happening to him. I don't know who threw him on the bus over there. Somebody did. You got to be careful not to mess with the wrong people. Yeah. I think he went to the wrong country. I mean, it's, it's just. Why uh, I know I don't understand why he's in Romania to begin with. Just, he's he Romania. was looking for freedom there, right? He's, he's from Romania. No, he's not from Romania. Yeah, he's from Romania. He's Romanian? Yeah, he's Romanian. Oh. And the Tet is Romanian. No, he's, he's English. He's, he's, he's English. UK. He's originally from the... I mean, yeah, his father UK. is like the he's UK. English. Because all I kept hearing him say was swatting. He, swatting. And he, he's actually... Like a, a he has a U.S. citizenship too, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he went back to his roots. And uh, I, if it is his roots, I don't know. But it, it's just one of those things when people have money or they earn a lot of money or they got into money... They make a mistake thinking that going back to certain roots is the right thing, you know, yeah. and it's that's a big mistake. I mean, 
Look at the guy from uh, PayPal, you know? Dude, mm -hmm. you get all this money, you're still going to continue in your partying. The guy that got killed recently? Yeah. The, the Cash App guy. Cash, Cash App. App. There Cash you go. App. Cash App. Cash App. That's a crazy story. Yeah. Oh, Stabbed crazy. in the middle of uh, the city, though. Yeah. San Francisco. San Francisco. Dude, man. He shouldn't have been partying with those people, whoever he was partying with or whoever he was out there with. He, they need to know there's levels to living a life when you have that kind of money. And uh, mm. uh, Andrew Tate went out there. Uh, I, I guess they, they just did him wrong. That's all it was. Yeah. You know, should have stayed in England. <laughs> <laughs> Pay more taxes. He said he has uh, U.S. citizenship too. Should have stayed in Miami. Yes. You know, Where it's somewhere. <laughs> now, guys, thank you for joining us. Generation I Podcast. You want to see any of our prior episodes? Please check out iHeartRadio, iPod Podcasts, and anywhere that you can stream us. Join us till next time.